Alright, once again, this is Anarchist Programmer from Omnimaga.org. Um, <clears throat> where we left off, we had a uh, little program that displayed a random uh, word on the screen. And uh, we're going to um, learn a couple more functions and uh, a little bit more about how to handle th uh, things such as variables and the like. Alright, um, our first thing is uh, we're going to learn about output. It's exactly like display except um, with output you get to pick exactly where on the screen you want it to be displayed. Um, you might not be able to tell but there is, uh, as far as the letter space, there is 16 uh, spaces um, across and eight spaces downward, up and down. Um, for the output, uh, first you'll display how far down you want it. Uh, one, two, three, four, and etc. So we'll say about four, which is around halfway down. And then um, we'll go about five, which is uh, a little bit ac uh, across. From there, uh, we insert another a comma and our what we want to display so we'll just for simplicity's sake say hi um, don't forget your uh, clear home and now we'll try that out as you can see it displays hi here in the middle of the screen and uh, you can experiment with uh, thing with it a little bit more on your own. Um, you can also, of course, uh, put variables in there too. I'm not sure what the last variable for x was, but okay, in this case it was 2. Um, and yeah, that's basically how you can use that. Uh, next, um, we're going to combine that wi uh, with a new um, function. Alright, first clear home, next uh, we are going to want uh, repeat. What this does is it repeats everything between repeat and end, uh, the end that we'll add until something happens. Um, for our case, we don't want anything special, so we'll have it as repeat zero, which means it'll repeat forever. Um, <coughs> So next, uh, we're going to add in um, a random integer. Uh, let's see, this one will be for uh, going across the uh, page, which will be in, uh, anywhere between 1 and 16. And we'll say that goes to, uh, we'll say that goes to y. Next. Ah, uh, X, my fault. Next, we'll, we'll add another random integer. This time it goes from 1 to 8, and we'll go to Y. Now, uh, we shall have an a, uh, output, and we will say uh, there, Y and x and then we'll have our little hi. Afterwards we'll clear the screen one more time and end. Now what this will do is it uh, will repeat everything in between the repeat and and uh, infinitely forever. Um, each time it'll pick a random x and a random y uh, which will be put uh, here, and then at those coordinates it'll display high. Alright, we'll start this program up, and here's where I'll teach you how to um, get out of a program that is locked up. As you can see, um, it's uh, going really fast, but uh, the high is bouncing all over the screen. Um, now, there's no way to get out of this except 
uh, that you can hit the on button and it'll break you out of the program at any time no matter what program it is and no matter where you are in it except in an input if I, as far as I remember um, it will break you out of the program and either you can hit go to and it'll go to the exact spot it stopped or quit um, for my case to get back in program quickly I'm just gonna hit go to alright so um, that uh, is basically an annoying little program that you can uh, mess with your friends with you can have it say vulgar things and stuff like that um, but main thing is that you've learned how to repeat how to use the output in a fun way and uh, how to mess around more with random integers believe me it'll be helpful we'll continue on a little bit more with in the next one and hopefully that'll be the last tutorial uh, we need to cover and but I kinda doubt it due to these time restrictions so without further ado I leave you until next time.